Hi everyone, it's TNL Cubing here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the 3x3 Diane Zanchi stickerless. So, this was my first ever speed cube. Um, so, well, of course, I started on a Rubik's brand, but once I started getting about under two minutes, then I decided that I wanted to start speed cubing. So, I looked around and I found this, and I Heard that it was quite a good speed cube for beginners who were just starting out, and it was. So, yeah, I, this is not my main now, uh, because it's just, it's a bit sluggish for me, but it was good to start off with, so. I'm going to start by just reviewing the appearance of this cube. So, to start off with the appearance, um, I quite like the colour scheme, it's got... Very nice colours all the way around. Um, yeah, the only thing I don't really like is the blue. I mean, the blue's okay, but it's a bit dark. But yeah, it's quite nice. Um, lots of people um, like this cube. Uh, lots of people use it when they're beginning. And yeah, it's quite nice. As you can see, um, one of the s special things about the Dine's Anchi is it pops. I mean, it doesn't pop a lot during souls, but if you force, um, if you try, it can pop quite easily, and they slot back in really easy. Um, some other cubes, like Waylongs, they're very hard to put in, but this one just sort of slides in. It's not that hard. So yeah, quite like the visual appearances of this cube. Um, so that's all for this. Now I'm going to move on to the performance of this cube. So the performance of this cube is quite good for beginners, like I said earlier. But once you start getting sub uh, one minute and even lower, I mean... You probably should move on to a new cube. You don't have to. Um, I didn't get my first sub one minute on this cube, but I can solve faster than a minute now on this. Yeah, so onto its corner cutting. Um, I'll just do this on the back of the cube so you can see it. Um, it's corner cutting just before 45. It's really easy. Once you get to 45, sometimes it struggles, but... Yeah, you can see sometimes it just struggles a bit, but sometimes it just goes straight through. And anywhere past 45, it you can see it's almost about to pop there. So it's not the best corner cutting, but really, I mean, usually the pieces won't go past 45 when you're solving. And if they do, then it's nothing wrong with the cube. You need to be sorry, be more precise with your moves. Um, yeah, now I'll talk about the speed, so, it's, um, I mean, it's not slow, it's definitely not the fastest, one thing I like about it is it is quite controllable, like, I can, I'm not super fast on it, but, you know, it's okay, and it's not, some cubes are really loose, but this one's quite, doesn't feel loose, I mean, it is quite loose, but it doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart. It's sort of, like, quite controllable when I'm solving. Um, I usually solve on a way long now, so I don't do a lot on the Zanchi anymore. Uh, but it's still quite a good cube, and I'm really happy with it because I progressed a lot with this cube when I was first starting out. Yeah. So, I think that's about it. This isn't a very in-depth review. This is just sort of a short video, just reviewing, like, the um, basics of the cube. So, yeah, in conclusion, I would recommend this cube for any beginner speed cuber who knows how to solve the Rubik's Cube, of course, and... It's such a controllable cube that you could probably skip a Rubik's brand and go straight to a Diane's Edge. Because really, 
it's nothing like a Mo Way Long where you're gonna like you know move too many or anything. So yeah, anyone who's starting out speed cubing and wants to get a good cube, I would recommend the Dying Zanshi for you. Um, whether it's stickerless or stickered, that's up to your preferences. I don't have a stickered Diane Zanchi, but I quite like the stickerless. Yeah. So, thanks for watching. Hope this review helped you, and yeah. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!